year two. I am super excited for outdoor learning today. Yes, I am recording this lesson in the snow and it's so exciting to be outside in this beautiful weather. I think you can see a little bit of it behind me. So to start off with this poem, to start off with our lesson today, oops, I just let you know what we're going to be doing. You guys are going to be focusing on writing some nature poetry today. It's going to be very exciting. And I thought I would start off the lesson by reading you my favorite nature poem. This poem reminds me about all the outdoor learning we have been doing this term. We've been going on lots of nature walks. And this poem is called, What Do You Do On A Nature Walk? by Kate Williams. We have an adventure, that's what. Crunching through the undergrowth, Dodging thorns and stings, leaping logs and bridging bogs, looking out for things. Birds and frogs and shy hedgehogs and flies with fairy wings and skinny slugs and tiny bugs. Whatever nature brings. Isn't that lovely? That just reminds me of all the walks I've sent you on, looking for lots of different animals and plants and creatures and activities. So today, you are going to go on yet another nature walk, but this time you're going to go on a sensory nature walk. Now I want you to have a think. Can you remember what the five senses are? Hmm, let me give you a second to think. Maybe you already know what they are. Today, the senses that I want you to focus on when you go for your nature walk are, what can you hear? What can you touch? Maybe what you can feel and touch under your wellies as you walk today, or on the branches and the trees. What can you smell? That's right, what are you smelling? Are you smelling the rain? Are you smelling the leaves? Are you smelling some snow? It's got its very own smell. What can you feel? And when I say what can you feel, I mean, how does it feel to be outside today? Does it feel freezing? Does it feel exciting? Does it feel calm, refreshing? You might be able to tell me all the things you can feel. And when you have compiled all your ideas together about what you can hear, see, smell, touch and feel, that's what you're going to use to compose your very own nature poem. Now, I have composed my own nature poem today on my walk and I've written it down for you so I can tell you, so I can tell you exactly what I saw and felt and heard with my senses. So, the first line of my poem is what I could see. The green grass rolls out ahead like an emerald blanket. I don't know if you can see, but I'm in the park right now and there is miles of green grass all around. The next line is what I can hear. Above, sparrows coo, caw and cackle, cozy in their nests. The next line is about what I can touch. Under my wellies, soggy leaves squelch and squiggle. The next line is about what I can smell. The scent of snow mixes with the dew in the air. There's a lovely fresh smell today because of the lovely snow we're having. And finally, how I feel about being out in my nature walk. I look to the sky, peaceful, calm and energised. And that's my nature poem. And as I as I demonstrated for you girls, it doesn't have to be very long. It just has to has just has to be a combination of your ideas split into one, two, three, four, five lines. One line for what you see, one for what you hear, one for what you can touch, another for what you can smell, and finally a line to explain how being in nature makes you feel. Ooh, the wind is really coming on now. I think we might be getting a little bit more snow. So I'm going to leave you there, girls. I am so excited to see the nature poems that you come up with. I have a feeling they're going to be pretty awesome. I'm excited. So have fun today on your sensory nature walk and I hope to see you all very soon. Bye!